Okay, so that's all for the address learning of a switch. Now let's introduce the frame processing behavior of a switch. After the switch learns the table, then they can do corresponding processing. For example, there are three different kind of frame processing behavior of a switch. So the switch can either flooding a packet or forward a packet or just discard a packet according to the destination. And when checking the packet's MAC address in the forwarding table, Actually, uh, this is an example for flooding. Assume that one host transmits a packet to the switch, and this packet destined to MAC2. Then the switch check the MAC2. Oh, it is not in my address table. Then I don't know to which host or switch I should forward. Then I simply flood this packet to all the outgoing links. So that is flooding. There are another type of case under which flooding is processed. That is for broadcasting. So if the packet's destination MAC address or is already been a broadcasting address, then this packet, the switch, should, didn't uh, check, do any matching in the MAC address table, they just flood this broadcasting package over all the outgoing interface. That's okay. The next kind is forwarding. That is very simple. So if a package destined to MAC2, and if the MAC2's uh, address exists in the MAC address table, then the switch know that for this destination, I should forward from the second interface. So I just forward it through the second interface until they can receive the destination. So this is uh, very simple, uh, just forwarding, that's okay. And the third one, as sometimes actually the switch should not flooding or forwarding, they should do the discarding. Let's look at this example. So for example, this host want to transmit to this one. And when switch one check the switch table, they doesn't have the MAC2 address in its table. Then switch two simply flood the packet. And then in switch two, we assume that switch two have this address table and they, they already have this entry in it. The switch to know that from this interface, the host two can be reached. Then how should the switch to do? Does switch two need to receive this packet and then send from this interface again? Actually, it doesn't need to do this because they receive the packet. It means that there is already have a switch or host before it have transmitted this packet out. So he can just discard it and the other switch should have already flat or forward this packet to the correct destination. So in summary, if one switch receive a packet and if the destination of the packet is the same, if the destination of the packet uh, is in the address table, and if the interface for this address is equal to the incoming interface, then the switch can simply discard it to avoid so many flooding packets in the network.